Right, so maybe you guys have seen my video on how to factor a five-term polynomial. And here we have just one more term, a total of six terms. And keep in mind, these kind of questions, they have to be well decided in order for this to work, right? Six terms. Six terms. We can only try to by grouping, right? And this time you have a lot more ways to group them. You may be able to group the first three and then the last three and then you can do the first two, middle two, and the last two, right? I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to group that the first three right here and then the last three. And this is how we're going to continue. Look at this. From the first three, I can factor out x to the third power. And right here inside, you are going to end up with x squared plus x to the first plus 1. And then for this, they happen to be just this, right? And then I'm going to technically factor out plus 1. And then parentheses around this, x squared plus x plus 1. Yes, and that match, right? Factor them out. x squared plus x plus 1, left over this and that x to the third power plus 1. Are we done? No, because we can factor this. Keep this all the way in the front, x squared plus x plus 1. And then to factor this, this is the same as x to the third power plus 1 to the third power, and we have to use that formula, and we will get x plus 1. The a plus b times the second parenthesis is going to give us x squared minus x plus 1 squared, which is 1. a squared minus ab plus b squared. So pretty. We are done. The order doesn't matter, but usually maybe you want to write the smallest, which is this one right here. It has two terms all the way first. But this is it. How do you factor a six-term polynomial? And you can also try this if you would like. You can also work this out as the first two, middle two, and the last two. That's it.